my name is JP Wright from Casaplex, and today I'm going to show you how to use Air Media. Currently, I have my TV turned on, selected to the input of the Air Media. My Air Media is hooked up through Ethernet connection. You must have an Ethernet connection connected to the Air Media to use it. It's a 10100 slot. You don't need to have a gigabit switch or anything. My laptop over here on the right is connected wirelessly, and I'm connected to the wireless network that the Air Media is on. To use Air Media, open up the browser window. I usually like to go to the IP address of the Air Media. Sometimes host names don't always resolve on a corporate network. It's going to ask you to download the uh, Windows utility. Think about this as like a go to my PC or Citrix or a WebEx type application. You don't have to have administrator rights to run it. Download it, I'm going to run it. You'll see Crestron come up. And then it'll ask us for the code. The code is in the upper right of the Air Media. And now I'm sharing my Windows desktop to the Air Media device. Pretty responsive. Sometimes a little bit laggy on videos, but overall for a presentation and everything else, it works really, really well. It's a great solution. Let me go ahead and play a YouTube video just to give everybody an idea of how it looks. Um, it will send audio through the HDMI. Let me go ahead and change it over to 1080p. For a device that has to encode the video using the software and then re-decode it on the Air Media back to a TV using 1080p resolution, it works really, really well. Our clients are very happy to use it. We'll just go to a few web pages. You can see I'm not showing a video, it's more in real time. Go straight to the internet. Now we're back in more real time. It's not having to encode and decode tons of data. And that's a quick overview of the Crestron Air Media.